Up next for conversation is Madonna, who faces class action lawsuit from fans over late starts to concert. She's been, um, she's been said, um, she's been sued for breach of contract, loss of value, false advertisements, and negligent misrepresentation. Andrew Panos and Antonio Valota claim the pop star kept them waiting up to three hours before taking the stage at Brooklyn Academy of Music Shows in New York last year, and the concert left them stranded in the city. Okay. Okay, so I'm, part I'm particularly excited about this lawsuit, and I just they want to, to bring pray. It down tonight. We need to bring it down tonight. I just want to pray and beg that no, this country three becomes hours three in hours in Nigeria. Six Do you remember hours. when Steph London came to Nigeria? Mm -hmm. Yeah. The show was supposed to start for 6 p.m., right? <laughs> Do you know when she came on stage? Just but guess. I think, I no, think no, no, it's your guess. I think it was 12 or 3. A but I think I think it's part of the uh, African time thing. This is not African no. time. African time is the, the feel, event supposed like to start by six. It starts by eight. You know, That's Madonna African has time. her her tour has been. This is the second lawsuit, right? Mm -hmm. After the other one yeah. was two months ago, and mm -hmm. this, the same issue, right? They don't announce when there's going to be a delay. a delay. She comes on stage when she wants to, and I like that there are provisions in the law to tackle things like yeah. this. And I'm hoping that we get to that point, right? Mm -hmm. But I feel like there's a Nigerian on her team that she needs to push <laughs> <laughs> there's a typical nigerian on her team because i don't get it ah, i really hope that in nigeria we'll be able to implement something like this because the the fact is just that most of our artists i don't know one art, nigerian artist that is not guilty of coming to their concert late in fact it, is, it has become a normalized thing and mm. people don't and the, the truth is just that like people if pay early, it's like if you come early because you haven't been yourself mm. but why would you put 6 p.m on a ticket and then you start the show by 12 a.m you did not think about people's plans for transportation you did not think about how they were going to well, leave I think after people the concert are always also looking out for the main artists but you're not just sitting there from 6 p.m. If you get there by 6 p.m., you see other people. Uh, no, yeah, some concerts that they don't. We are not going to get there by 6. I was you about uh, uh, no, I was no, there. So, so, so just, let me tell you, if uh, even uh, the DJ was not playing, they were still setting up the uh, stage. Uh, as at, I, I left there at 12 o'clock. Yes, I left there at 12 o'clock, okay. and they were still setting up the stage. Mm -hmm. And this was a show that was supposed to start 6 p.m. I'm talking about 12 p.m. So where is the artist that was warming up? Well, I'm just saying, usually you have artists that warm up. The they still don't start 6 o'clock, though. Yeah, they, they still, still don't, don't start 6 p.m. They start maybe I think 10. Because they're 11. I'm, just, I'm not trying to defend up, them, 10. but because I, I think it's, it's total rubbish. If you're headlining yes. a show, you should be there on time. Mm -hmm. Even if you're not performing, let people just know that, okay, Bonobo is around already. Yeah. Whiskey is around already. David Do, but, but you guys say you let have the show a show for 6 p.m. Yeah. I just respect your fans yeah. that have left their house. The only one who came and respected time was Cardi. Be. Yeah, true. I mean, before 12 yeah, o'clock, the show was done. And people were asking, are you sure? Some people came in over? thinking that she came came you know, And I like that she 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 maintains that culture. She yeah. didn't, I mean, of course, they delayed her a bit, definitely. Yes. But it was still not anything close to what we are used to here. Most and I was to. so proud of that, yeah. you know. I mean, I'm happy. And hope, she should pay for damages. Yeah, I hope um, <laughs> she pays. If she, if you do the crime, be ready to do the crime. Yeah, and I hope that we would implement <laughs> that in Nigeria too. Hopefully. And event organizers actually yeah. have a much more blame on this one yes, because they, they just... I don't know what their problem is, but they never get the things right. You see that the sound, and sometimes they've also blamed the event center. So mm. you have a show today, and there's also another one um, the oh, day before. Wow. So before they are able to clear and then fit in the sound that is for required this, for your yeah. own type of yeah. events, then that's another problem. So mm. they have their own issues, and I think they should come together, have a round table, and treat us right, because we pay money, really.